Uh, during this time, my grandma is sick, and uh, we found out she had cancer. What's up, Team Loso? It's your boy, DJ Fabuloso, and uh, I know I haven't been on here in a minute. Uh, a lot of people have asked me where I've been, what's going on. Life. You know, life definitely uh, hit me really hard. Uh, I, was, I feel like uh, the stuff that I went through, and I'll get into it real soon, helped me realize what really makes me happy, what genuinely puts a smile on my face. And um, let's just start from the beginning. The month of April, very great month for me. I'm doing a whole bunch of proms, just DJing, business is doing good, I'm meeting new people, and I'm just having a great time. Uh, during this time, my grandma is sick, and uh, we found out she had cancer. Uh, so we're doing everything in our will to make sure that she's comfortable, making sure that she gets the treatment that she needs. And uh, later that month, um, it's crazy because I, I filmed a sit-down video the same day that she passed away, April 27th. I uh, filmed a sit-down video explaining to you guys. I was DJing, I was literally, I just got done DJing. Sitting down, explaining where I've been and what's been going on. And I get a phone call stating that my grandma passed away. Now, this is the end of April, and uh, next month is May. And the following month was probably the toughest month I've ever, ever in my I Man, that month was probably the most difficult month for myself, for my mom, for my family. Um, backstory, me and my grandma were super close. Whenever she needed something, she always called me. No matter what, I was always there. She was always there for me. I, I promised that I was always going to be there for her. So, the month of May comes, and that first week of that first weekend of May is the funeral. Very difficult time for me. Um, I understand that in life, people come and go, and this one was one of those that I didn't want to understand. I, I didn't want to believe that she was gone. So the, the funeral happens. We're at the funeral and um, friends from everywhere, family from everywhere, they all come. And I have this, uh, I say here and I'm just like, why does it always have to be when someone passed away? Why do people want to come around when it's just like too late? And this is just me thinking out loud and thinking at the funerals. My grandma would not want this. She wanted everybody unified. She brought everybody together. The funeral ends and uh, in the month of May is Mother's Day. And nobody, nobody, wants to lose their mom. I, I, it was the first year that my mom, I've never seen my mom not happy on Mother's Day. But this Mother's Day really, really was not it. Nobody came together. Nobody wanted to do anything. And I don't blame them, but it was, it was, a, it was a very horrible day. I, Mother's Day is for you to go spend time with your mom, make sure that she's happy, bless the lady. I gave birth to you and it just was, it was not it. Um, later down that month is my grandma's birthday. Uh, 
It was just a month of emotions, a month of damn, man. This is this is happening. This is for real. And uh, I say here to tell y'all that during that process, during that healing of the passing away in that month alone, helped me realize the importance of time and, and calling friends and making sure that someone is good, calling them, check up on them. Even if they don't call you, who cares? You're doing your job. And don't focus too much on, on work, on, on stuff that just generally doesn't make you happy, man. You probably, you die today, man, your company, gonna re they're gonna replace you tomorrow, right? The only people that really care is the people in your family, in your circle. And that's what I did. I took a whole break from that. Um, I stopped filming with IBP, I stopped filming for me, I got off social media. I went through a deep cleanse, not because I was sad or depressed. I needed to realize what made me happy. And I was super broken because my grandma made me happy, man. And, um, you know, those months came, I didn't DJ, I didn't do nothing, felt behind on bills. I just didn't care about a lot of things. I really just wanted to stay home and find God and really understand why he does things, you know? I feel like when you're at the top, that's when the devil attacks you the most. That was me, man. I was I was making I was making money. I was I was grinding. I was on my I was on my P's and Q's. And uh, I realized at, at, at a split second, all that could not matter. And we're here now. I, I'm, I'm, I'm healed. I'm definitely in a better place. I'm focused. Uh, on the positive note, I got to have my daughter for the summer. Um, spend quality time with her. Man, she's starting kindergarten. And there she goes. Fudge, bro. I cried like She's a baby, there. dog. <laughs> Man, my kid's growing up. My son turned one years old. Ready? Hey! Um, just so much positive stuff, right? I can sit here and complain about all this negative stuff, man. I. It was just so beautiful. And once I got my mental... Once I got my mental clean, I made a song for my grandma called Thank You. Um, it's a related song for everybody who just lost their grandma. And just you never got the chance to tell them really thank you because the grandma started a whole generation for you guys. And uh, I'm just very thankful for my mom. She was uh, a beautiful lady for me. She, uh, she's a very warrior lady. <laughs> wouldn't take no as an answer and uh, she always was there when I needed her so I sit here and I tell you guys Team Loso that to answer the questions where I've been I've been healing I've been finding God I've been understanding the power of the beautiful life that we have here I don't take anything for granted I don't care for money I don't care for clout I don't care for recognition. I just want to be great on this earth and put other people in position to be great as well. So my purpose here is to motivate, create content, entertain, and that's what I feel like my calling is. Um, I love everybody, every single one of you guys. We hit 70K on YouTube and we're road to 100K. I sit here, <clears throat> and if you made it this far, you're, you're a real one. You're a real one. But uh, this next couple months, it's going to be content, a lot of content, and a lot of focus. And um, also have a big announcement. 
I mean, you probably see it by the title of the video, but yeah. I'm moving in with the Ireland boys. After five, six years of knowing them, all these different places we spent the night in, all these different locations, I'm finally gonna be moving in with them and uh, just know we're like the triple decker. We're like the dream team, bro. I'm like KD, Ricky's like Steph Curry. Actually, I'm LeBron, Nick is KD. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, the Olympics, man, the USA Olympics, they just won gold. And the three were KD, LeBron, and Curry, so. Anyways, man, yo. Father, thank you for this blessing. That's all I'm saying. For everybody who's been wondering where I've been, I love y'all. Dog, I'm coming back stronger than ever. I, I'm not playing no games. My grandma would want me to be successful and not, not give up. She'll, she'll be so mad. She'll probably slap me. Come down from the heavens and smack me right now. Got a new team. We're ready to work. If you guys got any ideas or you guys want to collab with anybody, anybody need to collab with, comment down below. I love y'all. And um, thank you. Truly thank you. Let's be great, man. Let's be different and let's stay that way, baby. Let's go!